The aftermath of yet another fatal shooting north of Toronto, this time in a cluster of industrial units in Brampton. And unfortunately, one of those people was pronounced deceased on scene. It happened around 6 in the morning in a parking lot outside a group of businesses, including a car repair shop. Nothing surprises me nowadays. Tow truck dispatcher Rochelle Lapierre was working the overnight shift. She heard the gunshots. Repetitive pop, 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 pop. And uh, uh, a few minutes later, a lot of sirens. And then it wasn't for an hour later that I put it together when my dispatcher said, I can't get in, the police won't let me in. There were multiple shots fired, but an exact number, I do not have that. Police say six people were inside this GMC Yukon, five adult women and a male driver. You could see bullet holes on the windshield. Another vehicle approached and opened fire. At some point, another vehicle attended and began shooting at this parked vehicle. A security camera from a neighboring business appears to show a white car enter the parking lot right before the shooting. Police haven't confirmed this was the suspect's vehicle. One bullet fired struck the glass door of this auto repair shop. Shortly after, security video shows tactical officers from Peel Regional Police entering the lobby, their guns drawn, but police found no suspects at the scene. The shop's owner said the shooting was too close. It's crazy because it could have been any one of us, you know what I mean? So it's just, it's crazy that somebody died right in front of our doorstep. Police making a familiar appeal for dash cam footage from anyone driving along this street in the early morning. About three years ago, there was another shooting in the same parking lot, but no one died. This time, a woman lost her life and three others were injured. No known motive at this time. Colleen. Sean O'Shea, thank you, Sean.